Hello, welcome to this presentation of the Percy Project, a project with the interesting name Perceptive Dependable Cellular Networks for Road Transport. Before I go into some detail and explain what this project is about, let me first introduce briefly myself and the project team. Percy is a collaboration between KTH, Ericsson and Scania. From Ericsson, we have Stefano Sorrentino and, and Gabor Fodor. Gabor actually has two hats, one with Ericsson Research, and the other one, he is an adjunct professor in wireless systems at KTH. From Scania, we have Ulrich Janusson, who leads uh, connectivity research. And then in addition, we have two groups from KTH. We have Mikael Skoglund from the Division of Information Science and Engineering, where he is a professor in communication theory, and then myself, and Gianfilippo Fornaro from the Division of Mechatronics. And that's where I am a professor in embedded control system. <clears throat> we have a good team to deal with the complex topics of Percy. So what are these topics? What do we mean by perceptive dependable cellular networks for road transport? Well, I think you're all aware of the hype and underestimated complexity that has been associated with automated driving. We know that even though we have heard promises of automated driving cars on the streets, we have very little of deployment so far, especially when it comes to urban and dense environments into cities. Not only the complexity, but also how we assure safety has been drastically underestimated. One remedy to deal with complex traffic situation is an old idea of information sharing. So having vehicles, sensors in the infrastructure to share information. That idea has been around for quite a while, but has been given some more momentum now with the emergence of 5G as a bearer for the information sharing. And then in addition, we have ICAS or what is sometimes referred to as JCAS, integrated communication and sensing. So what do we mean by that? Well, the setting is something like this. We have vehicles with onboard sensors and they can share information. They see something, they can share that. We may also have offboard sensors in the infrastructure. And with ICAS, we can leverage the electromagnetic beams both for communication, but also for as radars for sensing. That provides an entirely new capability from the cellular systems. And since cellular systems are deployed anyway, this is a very interesting way forward. And what it promises is that we can combine them information from onboard sensors, offboard sensors, and from the ICAST cellular systems to establish a much more comprehensive awareness of what is going on, what is behind the corner, what do I see, what do I not see behind that car, for example. And that then promises to improve traffic safety and also make traffic more efficient. When we do that, of course, we introduce new complexity, new technologies. We have to understand how that technology should be used, how it should be deployed, and how its architecture can be arranged to be dependable. <laughs> and in in um, in practice, um, safety engineering of today does not provide support for these type of collaborative systems. So when deploying these systems, we also have to make sure that these new systems don't introduce new failure modes, thus closing the loop. That is the promise of the Percy project. And what are we intending to do? First of all, we have an interesting consortium that provides different pieces of the required knowledge from the cellular communication systems and ICAS, from sensor fusion and algorithms to the safety aspects and 
engineering. And that's one important goal, to share perspectives and improve the understanding of how we can combine these pieces to provide new defendable solutions for road transport. Then we want to dig into ICAS, into selective use cases, and look at how this technology can be optimized to improve safety while using uh, the cellular networks, both for communication and perception. And finally, we want to look at how we put all these pieces together to understand requirements, the architectures, the interfaces, and how we can make our safety case, how we can demonstrate that these systems are ready to go, that they are safe enough. So we have a relatively large scope in the limited project. And the way we deal with that is that we try to focus. We are have a main focus on the situational awareness. There could be other types of collaboration also, but this is our main emphasis. There are many different use cases. We will be looking at a number of them. One very interesting and relevant use case is that of looking at intersections and crossings, which are error prone. Uh, there are a lot of uh, bad accidents happen there. So there is room for improvements for these types of solutions. So for these use cases, we will be looking at the functionalities, information sources, how to combine them, how to inform the driving. And then we want to look at criteria to evaluate different types of architectures and solutions. Where do we execute the sensor fusion, for example? Where do we execute the different computations? With the idea to come up with reference solutions. That is the overall approach. And with this short presentation on Percy, I would like to conclude with three takeaways. The complexity of automated driving and the particular safety has been underestimated. It is better realized now that we need collaboration uh, to improve that traffic safety and performance. In Percy, we are per particularly looking at the momentum with cellular networks that provide not only communication, but also computation, edge computing, and through ICAS also sensing. And to ensure that these systems actually work and don't make the systems too complex, we have to work out architectural and dependability concepts. So with these words, I'd like to thank you for your attention. You are most welcome to come back to us for more information. Thank you.